Hello, health explorers, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. Now, this is a brand new forum where we'll be answering some of your most burning questions about peripheral neuropathy. We know that living with peripheral neuropathy can be challenging, and the journey to understand it and manage it in the system can often feel like a maze. So that's why we've created this series. It was driven by an overwhelming response we received on our channel. And we're happy and grateful that this channel is helping and offering you hope and solution. Because of the volume of questions we receive, it's been difficult for us to tend to our patients in our practice and keep up with the individual responses. But don't fret because Ask the Doctor is here to bridge that gap so we can empower you with knowledge and help you gain a better understanding of peripheral neuropathy and your road to recovery. So we'll take the most commonly asked questions and respond to them in our Ask the Doctor series. So let's get started. Our question today comes from Lisa and she asks, she says, my grandmother suffered a, a mild stroke two years ago and still suffers with left arm and leg weakness, constant prickling sensations in her foot and sometimes sharp shooting pain in her left foot and leg. Is there anything that can be done to help her? This is a great question. First, let me start by saying, I'm so sorry your grandmother is going through this. We get questions about strokes frequently. First, I want you to understand that there are two different types of neuropathies that can occur post-stroke. One is central neuropathy and the other is peripheral neuropathy. And here's the difference. With central neuropathy, there's a miscommunication or a misfiring of the nerves that have been damaged by the stroke in the brain. Whereas in peripheral neuropathy, the damage has occurred directly with the peripheral nerves and not the brain or the spinal cord. We've actually treated both types of these post-stroke neuropathies and we always use our formulas Neforia Gold and Nerve Defense as the foundation simultaneously with photobiomodulation or PBM for short. Now, the reason we do this is because research shows that acetyl-L-carnitine, L-citrulline, R, alpha lipoic acid, meth methylcobalamin, and paradoxal 5-phosphate can all cross the blood-brain barrier, which is good news because if these vital nutrients can make it across this barrier, then chances are they can help reduce the symptoms and support neuron repair. Now realize, along with these nutrients, photobiomodulation is imperative. Now, doc Dr. Michael Hamblin and numerous other research do doctors have published numerous studies on the effectiveness of PBM for traumatic brain injury and stroke. And the research has been overwhelmingly positive. Plus, we've been able to actually apply the research to stroke victims in our clinic and watch their recovery in action. So undoubtedly, I can say that using the appropriate foundational nerve support formula along with photobiomodulation is key I also want to address your, your grandmother's weakness in her limbs. She's also going to need physical therapy to strengthen and retrain the muscles. Thanks for your question, Lisa. If you have a burning question that you want answered, be sure to leave it in the comment and it may make it into the next topic of our Ask the Doctors video series.